Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Unless you guys haven't been to my channel before, welcome to my channel. I'm so blessed to have you all here today. So I hope today's video is a little more like clear and concise than yesterday's video. Yesterday's video was a disaster, I'm not gonna lie. But today I'm really feeling like sharing some stories and I don't really have one story in particular that I'm gonna tell. Let me start off with I worked at a summer camp. I worked there for four summers and it was one of the best experiences of my life. If any of you guys have an opportunity to work at a summer camp in the area, I would because I can't even describe it. My heart is just so full of love when I'm there from my coworkers, to my bosses, to the campers themselves. It's an amazing thing. So I thought for today, with all my knowledge from working at a summer camp, I can basically kind of like explain to you guys what it's like to work at a summer camp. I am gonna tell some very interesting stories about things that have happened to me and to my coworkers in the four years that I was there. So let me just jump right into this. Let me start with my first year ever at camp. Um, I was 15 years old and I had eight year olds in my cabin for the weekend. So we were sitting at campfire the night that the campers got there and this girl was sitting next to me on the bench. All night during the campfire there was kids getting up and going back to the main building for the bathroom. The campfire was coming to a close and my bosses were kind of like, okay, don't let your kids go to the bathroom anymore, they can just wait until we get back to the cabins. So that's exactly what I did. She had to go to the bathroom and she kept begging me to go to the bathroom. I was like, no, honey, I promise you can hold it. Like, I know, I know how it feels to have to go to the bathroom super bad, but campfire is almost over. So the next story that happened is one that happened to me. It was my second year working at camp. It was after the girls had went to bed, so I was sitting outside on the picnic table for the night because we have this thing called cabin duty where at night a counselor sits out on a picnic table in case like any of the girls inside the cabin need them. They can come out and just ask for help. So I was sitting on the picnic table with two of my friends and a girl comes out of my cabin and she goes, I'm gonna make up names for them, she goes, Pizza and Pop-Tart are in the bathroom together. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's weird. Mind you, these were nine and 10 year olds. So I walk into the cabin and I, neither of them were in their bunk, so I do go into the bathroom. The door wasn't locked, I opened it. And they were in there just kissing each other. Like, what the fuck? Nine and 10 years old is too young to be kissing anybody. And nevertheless, in a bathroom at a summer camp, that's so gross. This next story also happened my second year at camp, so I was 16 years old. That summer I worked in the um, main building and I kind of like cleaned up after everybody kind of thing. It was sort of like I was a janitor. And one week during 9 and 10 year old week again, I don't know if you can tell, but 9 and 10 year olds are the worst. One day I was cleaning the male and female bathroom, and when I was in the male bathroom, a little boy had shit and then put the shit all over the stall on the walls on the toilet seat underneath the toilet paper dispenser this motherfucker was crafty this happened all week so i didn't clean the bathrooms every single day that week i had a boy that worked with me and he also cleaned the bathrooms so some days he would clean it and some days i would clean it and just almost every single day there was just shit we called that one the poop bandit. Now on to nighttime stories. The first one happened when I was 17, so my third year working at camp. This girl walks out of the cabin that we were next to. She had her sleeping bag draped over like half of her face and just started walking around. And we don't let campers out of the cabin after a certain time because that's when we're supposed to be in bed. So we were like, what are you doing? And she, wouldn't answer us and she just kept walking and we were like what the fuck and so we figured out that she was sleepwalking and we kind of just had to turn her around and get her to go back in the cabin but to get in the cabin there was a step up so one of my guy friends had to pick her up by her shoulders and like sat her in the cabin it was it was just like freaky kind of but this next one is even fucking weirder my friend and i were sitting in this chair um it was a chair like big enough for two people. And this girl walks out of a cabin that's like across the little like 
field from us. It's not a huge field, it's literally like maybe a hundred feet. And she comes out of her cabin and starts walking towards us. And my friend and I are like, what do you need? Like, do you need any help? Can we help you with anything? And she wasn't answering us. So she finally gets all the way over to the chair and we're like, what are you doing? And she goes, I'm going to my cabin. And we were like, you just came out of your cabin. And she turns around and she goes, that's not my cabin. And then she kind of just like stared at the cabin for a second. And then she goes, oh wait, that is my cabin. And then she just turned around and went back to bed. I can't even explain what happened to that one because she was not sleepwalking. Like, she was fully talking to us. Like, I can't explain it. The last story I'm going to tell was something that happened when I was 16. And this didn't have to do with campers, but it was still really fucking weird. It was the very, very last night of camp for that summer. And it was like 1 in the morning and we noticed this car coming down like the driveway to our camp and our camp is on like a really long driveway and the only other people that are down there is one house and it wasn't them so we're like what the fuck and it's going fast and it drives like through our camp down past the main building into like our sports field and just turns around and comes back it was fucking crazy like it's you know, kind of scary to let random people into a place where you're taking care of kids that aren't your own. I'm just gonna give a couple quotes from campers just to give you a real sense of what it's like to work at a summer camp. The first one I was not there for. Actually, there's a few that I wasn't there for, but I've heard the quotes. We have a quote book and they're written in there. Here it goes. A camper was like poking a dead fish with a stick one day down by the lake and their counselor goes, stop touching the dead fish and he looks this counselor in the eye and goes my grandma smelled like dead fish when she died and i touched her what the fuck what are these kids on and the next one was dialogue between two campers and this was just like overheard by a counselor camper number one says have you ever farted while running camper number two yeah camper number one does it make you go faster? Camper number two. Yeah. Camper number one. Does it make it smell worse? Camper number two. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? I just don't understand kids. And then one of the last ones was when I was... It was when I was 18 years old. And my kid and I were walking through the woods. And he goes, hey, I think my mom has those plants. And I was like, hey, my mom too. And he just looks at me and goes... Your mom isn't dead? And I was like, how old do you think I am? And he goes, I don't know, like 15? And I was like, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it, even though it was kind of like random. Um, if you did, give it a big thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel. Tell all your friends. And I hope that I see you guys tomorrow. Bye.